Thank you. Hate to be the last. <laughs> uh, you know. So I am a CEO of Medusa Project. And let me start from a post. It will be a sh very short glance. You know, five year, years ago, Russian segment of internet uh, was maybe the most free uh, space in the world. And everything seemed, seemed to be okay. I'm, I was editor-in-chief of uh, number one news outlet in Russia, and I have 84 journalists, uh, and everything was cool. Then Mr. Putin decided to return. <laughs> They, uh, he and his administration very fast uh, took TV stations and newspapers under total control. Uh, but, uh, you know, in 2008, uh, 11 and 12, uh, there were uh, huge protests in Moscow against falsification on the elections. And uh, all this, these protests were organized through Facebook, and uh, online news outlets covered them uh, very, very good. So, I of Russian Sauron turned on internet. And I was fired in a moment just before Crimean annexation, just before a Ukrainian war. And after two days of crying, uh, my staff, all the journalists, almost all the journalists, decided to resign in a protest of my firing. And then we, we, we have met and decided not, not to give up. We decided to establish new, brand new, bulletproof uh, media for young audience uh, and decided to make fresh start outside Russia. Frankly, nobody believed <laughs> that we can succeed. Uh, they said, wow, it will be the next boring opposite side outside Russia. Something like, sorry guys, Voice of America or Svoboda.org. <laughs> Uh, and here we are uh, 18 months later. Uh, uh, we have, uh, it's my proud, we have more than 4 million unique users per month. And uh, the most important thing for me, that 35% of our audience are under 35. They are the most active audience in Russia. And frankly, they have very good chances to live after Putin. So, when we decided to start Medusa, we uh, explained to ourselves that we do not want to be serious every time, every minute of our life. You know, Russians are serious. We do not like to smile, frankly. And Russian accent is scary, as you may, may, maybe, maybe you remember. <laughs> but we, we uh, strongly believe that uh, we are too serious, and we uh, we will uh, we have to laugh sometimes because laughing is good for is the best medicine uh, against care and against hatred and against uh, social apathy. Uh, you know uh, the second uh, point: Russian people really do not understand news. There are a lot of propaganda, there are a lot of white noise, and you need to explain every, every news topic. Uh, um, sure, uh, maybe I'll skip something about propaganda and our sustainability, it's not, it's not so interesting. Uh, the most important thing that we are against uh, isolation. We, uh, mm, we think that Russia is part of the world. There is no special way for Russia. We're just the uh, part of the big world. So, uh, what we're doing? News. Uh, it's very usual, but we uh, something um, we do something about rethinking uh, the news format and put news topics in very very uh, concrete content. Then we do long form journalism as. 
uh, every um, respectful media do. There are my favorite guys. Do not tell he, them if you meet them. Uh, <laughs> a special correspondent Eliazar. He was a Russian journalist who covered all uh, Ukrainian crisis, all Ukrainian war, Euromaidan, uh, and he he's real war correspondent. And now he covered conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And my favorite guy, Daniel Turovsky, he covered uh, uh, topics about LGBT pressure, uh, pressure on LGBT society in Russia, firing teachers, uh, beating and torturing gays. Uh, and he was the first Russian journalist who began to write about ISIS threat in Russia. He founded uh, parents and relatives of one of the main commander of ISIS. They lived in, uh, on the border of Chechnya and Georgia. And uh, he was uh, awarded Journalist of the Year. Uh, Ilya uh, was awarded Journalist of the Year last year. Explanatory journalists, do you remember that Russians do not understand news? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Vox. <laughs> We've made some uh, very short format called cards to explain uh, obvious things. For example, a couple months ago, uh, Russian State Duma approved law. Uh, this law allows uh, police to detain you and to torture you and to beat you anytime they want to. So we've made cards. Uh, um, it sounds, I've been detained by police, what should I do? And first uh, question is, uh, for example, I do not broke the law, why should I read this? So we, uh, we try to explain to our readers how to behave in difficult situations. Uh, this is an explanat uh, explanatory example of charts. Uh, you know, uh, Russia is in economical crisis, and uh, we've made special charts with special paths uh, where a reader can choose the way and the uh, um, questions they, uh, wa they want to have answer. And my favorite part of this show, <laughs> you know, there are a lot of social apathy in Russia. Nobody wants to take part, nobody wants to put uh, uh, emotion on these news uh, topics. And we do uh, special games based on real news. For example, after uh, elections, we made um, this game, oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, it was day of start of fourth season of House of Cards. <laughs> and we published this game. Do you want to play with Frank Underwood? In, uh, <laughs> uh, Frank Underwood ha has three cards, and you have three cards with the portraits of presidents, dictators, and leader of states. So Frank Underwood put Putin on the table. And you have three cards. For example, Barack Obama, uh, for example, uh, um, President of Kyrgyzstan, and uh, your card win if election results is higher than Putin, Putin's results. You have th uh, only three cards. Uh, one more about Putin. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, maybe you know that Putin is late all the time. He was late to the meeting with Queen Elizabeth. He was late uh, 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 with the meeting uh, to um, Barack Obama, to almost two hours. And when Pope Francis uh, said that he wanted uh, to meet with Putin, uh, we did this game, let Putin be in time to Pope Francis. <laughs> uh, we made mechanism from Super Mario. Uh, <laughs> you have just one minute. Uh, to let Putin come in time, <laughs> and if you succeed, uh, Pope Francis said, "My uh, my son, thank you from the, the deep of my heart. You bring this guy in time." So. Uh, this is not politically correct game. You know, maybe in Russia, uh, Russian Orthodox Church are uh, deeply involved in all uh, in in all uh, space of our um, private life. In schools, museums, they interrupted rock concerts. They smashing exhibitions of modern art. So we made game. Uh, please uh, let uh, the ch the priest find the road to church. 
there uh, you can see school, museum, theater, uh, concert, and a church, a church in the middle, and a lot of priests running out from the church. And you should tap your smartphone to stop them and, and to return them to church. And my favorite quiz, you know, Putin uh, uh, very often commented uh, news. Uh, not uh, Putin by himself, but his press secretary. And we uh, realized that there is three typical way of answering uh, of press secretary. If something happened, press secretary uh, Mr. Peskov said, uh, Putin is informed. Uh, Putin is not informed, and I'm not informed whether Putin informed or not. So there are news, and you should guess what answer Peskov uh, um, gave. And the last one, it's quiz. Uh, it's uh, something about everyday um, life in Russia. Uh, you uh, can guess. Is it Norwegian uh, prison or a Russian hotel? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. That's all about creative content.